Welcome to another episode of Casey Lau's Money Tips Show. Today I'm going to talk about the return on equity. I'm going to explain it to you what it is and how to make use of this financial ratio. If you're interested to invest in companies which efficiently generate a higher amount of profit than their rivals, you've really got to pay for it. The point is, how would you know if a company is a profit creator or a profit burner? Return on equity, or commonly known as ROE, is the magic wand which can help the investors to differentiate between the two and make the right choice. Although ROE does not necessarily tell you the entire story behind the curtains of a company, it's nearly always a very helpful number when it comes to value investing. What is return on equity? Return on equity is a measure of profitability of a company. It shows how much profit a company has made in a specific time period corresponding to the total shareholders' equity recorded on the balance sheet. Shareholders' equity is the difference between the total assets and the total liabilities of the company. So it's basically the part of a company owned by the shareholders. That's the reason why ROE is also known as return on net worth. To put it simply, return on equity is the amount of profit generated by each dollar from the shareholders' equity. A return value of 1 indicates that each dollar from the shareholders' equity has generated a profit of a $1. Apart from indicating the financial situation of a company, ROE also shows how effectively the management committee is utilizing the equity financing to grow the company business. Now let's get to the calculation. So here's the formula for determining return on equity. ROE equals to net income of the company divided by average shareholder equity in that period. The value of ROE is generally expressed as a percentage of the shareholder's equity. It indicates the profitability of a corporation providing the exact value for the profit generated using the shareholder's money. Here, the net income means the net profit of the company, usually calculated for a full fiscal year. Let's check out how we can calculate the return on equity values for two reputed companies functioning in full swing in Malaysia. Uh, first example is of QL Resources Berhad. According to the QL Resources Berhad Annual Report of 2014, the total equity attributable to the owners of the company was 1.3 billion ringgit. The net profit of the company in this period was 166 million. It is easy to find out the net profit, but for the average shareholder equity in that period, it will be a little bit uh, trickier. You will need to find the average of the shareholder equity using this formula, which is uh, the, both the equity of 2013 and also equity of 2014. You have to add it up together and divide it by two. So according to their financial report, uh, it was 890 million for 2013 plus 1.3 billion in 2014. So you divide it by two, the average shareholder equity is uh, 1.09 billion. So the ROE will be 166 million divided by 1.09 billion. So it's equals to about 15.32% return on equity. So this is the financial report of QL. Now let's get to the second example. According to the Aeon annual report of 2013, the total equity attributable to the owners of the company was 1.643 billion and 2012 was 1.47 billion. The net profit of the companies in this period was, uh, was uh, 230 million. So if you put in on the formula, you will get this. Is roughly equal to 14.84% ROE. So it simply means that you know, every ringgit you invest with this company, it is supposed to generate about roughly 15%, so it's like 15 cents of the ringgit you invested in. Now this is the annual report of Aeon. Here is the net profit of the tax, and uh, here is the equity. In fact, what return on equity tells about a company? A company with a high ROE has competitive advantage. 
is resilient to economic fluctuation, has the power to control the pricing and the shop is very likely to hold on to these features in the future. Your investment is for the future and the only way to predict a plausible future return is to analyze the past trends. Think about Coke, Nestle, Johnson & Johnson, Unilever, etc. All these companies have been growing big and big and they all have very good ROEs, indicating that the future are likely to bring profit just like their past. Generally, when a company is having low ROE, less than 10% a year, for a long period, it simply means that the business is not very efficient in generating return or profit. In other words, it also tells you that the companies is not worth investing in since the business nature or the management simply cannot make very good use of the investor's money. When the ROE of a company goes for a sudden leap, it might be because the company is using borrowed funds excessively. As an investor, you need to watch out for this kind of business leverage. In the formula for determining ROE, the denominator is the shareholder's equity. So a fall in this value causes the value of ROE to jump. Most people might consider this jump to be a green signal for investment, but uh, it might also indicate that the company is open to a higher debt risk. Generally, when a company borrows more money to run their business, the asset increases and so does the liability. Meanwhile, the equity or net worth stay just the same. But if the business can get higher profit, it increases the ROE. Now, the ROE is undoubtedly an important parameter when it comes to value investing, but it should not be considered as the only feature to predict a company's profitability. Considering the fact that most beginning investors will try to stay on the safe side of the line as much as possible, they are more likely to go for better established companies whose ROE will clearly reveal their true financial scenario. So if you are planning to invest in a company and take your share business to a whole new level, it would be wise to check out the company's ROE first. For more money tips and investment guide, just visit my website, it's kclau.com, kclau.com. I'll see you on the website. Bye-bye.